Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part two of uh, our UK uh, operational ration pack that uh, got from Drew78 uh, at uh, Rations and More. And again, there will be a link to his website and a email address. You can get to him very quickly and he does respond very quickly. I think I got this probably within two days of uh, actually getting in touch with him and uh, super nice guy. If you need something, you know, ask him. He's probably got it or knows how to get it. Um, okay, so we're back with lunch. I've got my wife over here on Hello. the left, daughter on the right. Hi. So today or for lunch, we're going to have our vegetable korma, our uh, tea to drink, our just fruit, peanut butter with our oat digestive biscuits. We have a lemon energy drink and our tutti frutti. So Wife's going to make the uh, tea for us real quick. Daughter's going to make the two drinks. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the rest of our stuff here and talk while they're working. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check out our fruits, which is raisins, sultanas, sweetened cranberries, um, sunflower, sunflower oil, and cottonseed oil. So it's just fruit. And here we go. That actually looks really good. This is the first time I've gotten this um, in an ORP. And um, actually, it looks pretty tasty. So, we'll be trying that in a minute. Let's get our uh, digestive biscuits. See how they... Uh, our little oat cookies... And there we go. A couple of them broken up, but not a problem. Just little, again, oatmeal cookies. Our peanut butter definitely says need before opening. So we'll go ahead and get that kneaded up real well. I can smell that lemon drink already. Ah. I smell that all the way over here. I cannot stand lemon. It's got a sweet smell to it. it smells like cleaner. Yeah, it does. It smells like cleaner. That's exactly what I would compare it to. All right, let's check out our vegetable korma. Oh, that that already smells just fantastic. Oh, I'm a big fan of uh, Indian food. And this just, the smell is just amazing already. Let me smell. Okay. Mmm, that smells good. Yeah, and I can see here we've got mm. potatoes, peas, some uh, peppers. Um, yeah, that just smells. You smell like coconut sauce. Yeah, you can definitely smell the coconut. All right. So we got our drinks all made up. Let's go ahead and just dive into lunch here. Everybody want to? Oh, that one drink is just loud. Yeah, that lemon, you can, you can definitely smell it. So let's get a, some of the vegetable korma. Right here we've got, uh, oops, we've got potatoes, peas, mm -hmm. uh, some of the peppers. Oh, that's good. Oh, man. That is amazing. It's okay. Oh, no, this, this is good. I will say that the ORPs definitely do Indian food right, or at least Tastes British like, Indian food. Kind of like a yellow curry. Yeah. Kind of something like that. Of course, the coconut you can really taste, but. Yeah, this is, uh, honestly, if this had maybe chicken in it, it would be over the top. But uh, for a vegetable dish or vegetarian dish, this is absolutely fantastic. Mm. <clears throat> She's not a big coconut fan, so she doesn't care for it. Actually, I just taste there's corn in it as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that right there is a fantastic dish. Um, the curry is not too uh, overpowering, or the korma, whatever, I don't know. Uh, the coconut, just it just sets so perfect in this. It's semi-sweet. It's not overly salty. It's not overly, it's just not overly spiced. It's not underspiced. It's absolutely just perfect. The potatoes are a little bit more cooked than I would like, though. 
Um, but, you know, this is what it is. If they were undercooked, I'd have to say they were undercooked. It's delicious. Yeah, that's, that's a 100% delicious dish right there. So let's try our fruits, uh, which is the raisins and sultanas. Um, and she's, the daughter's not going to try them for some reason. You don't like raisins? No. She's okay. allergic to vegetables, I think. Yeah, apparently what? she's allergic to vegetables. <laughs> so fruit. we're going to give it, yeah, and fruit. Anything <laughs> with it slightly healthy? Uh, yeah, that's, you know, really good. They're sweet without being uh, sickeningly sweet. Yep, they're good. Be a uh, a good um, snack during the day. I'm gonna go ahead and try these drinks. Uh, the tutti frutti. Again, this is one of my favorites. Yeah, that is just so good. It's like a kind of a passion fruit. I don't know. I don't, can't really describe it. It smells good. Yeah, the tutti frutti is good. Yeah, it's, it's just not too sweet. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a perfectly refreshing drink. Uh, I don't do lemon, especially anything that tastes like lemon pledge. I don't drink it in the army or the U.S. rations, the Lithuanian. Ah, ah, that's you like lemon. That one, it's, like, it's like lemon pledge. I'll try. Yeah, that's that's horrible. Oh, oh, that stinks. I mean, that is just like that European one you have. Steve. Smells like it's in. It's a just plastic bottle or something. It just don't smell right. It's just the lemon is so artificial and overpowering. Ooh. Yeah, I just there's nothing good about that. No. But like I said, the tutti frutti, Ugh. you can see it. It's quite clear, um, and it's just a, you know, a delicious, uh, refreshing drink. Love it. Okay, let's break into our peanut butter and uh, our Odie biscuits here. There you go. These oat digestive biscuits are fantastic. I love them. U.S. rations would do really well with these. They used to have cookies that kind of resemble these, but uh, mm, their peanut butter is real creamy. Some of the others I've tried is kind of lumpy. Mm -hmm. These are real smooth. Nice yep, the peanut butter goes. Uh, really well and I've got a mouthful of peanut butter now I'm trying to swallow um, the oat biscuits are a perfect platform for the peanut butter biscuits are really good I'm gonna go have a sip of this tea to try to wash it down oh yeah that's actually really good it works. It helps to wash that peanut butter down. So here was lunch. We had our vegetable korma. That was, I mean, I'll give that probably a 10 out of a 10 for uh, flavor, texture. The dry, the all fruit. Can't really go wrong with a pack of raisins. Crackers and peanut butter, or the cookies and peanut butter. Excellent dessert. The lemon pledge drink. Um, honestly, it's it to me is lemon pledge. I mean, it just, there's nothing tasty about that. Tutti Frutti, of course, delicious, and the tea is, of course, a good cup of tea. Okay, we'll be back with you in a minute, and we'll have dinner. All right, magically, we're back with dinner. So, we've got our chicken meatballs and pasta. We're going to make, we got our uh, hot chocolate with our coffee, cream and sugar. We're going to go ahead and make a Steve 1989 mochaccino with this. Uh, we'll go with our Just Nuts, which is uh, peanuts, almonds, and cashews. Got our apple turnover that I've warmed up a little bit, but it's actually already cold by now. And we've got our raspberry drink. So the ladies are going to go ahead and make the drinks up for us real quick while I open up the rest of it and check stuff out. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the Just Nuts. Uh, again, these are 75 gram packet. It's actually quite large. Um, and Oscar's sitting there having a party. So. And Oscar, again, is in the background chewing on one of his toys. That's what he does. Disruptive. Uh, that's why one of his sisters failed out of obedience school. Whole, whole family, disruptive. Here we have our Bridgeford apple turnover, which is interesting that it's uh, Bridgeford and made in the U.S. Of course, the peanut butter we had uh, for lunch was also a U.S. product. 
So we're just going to tear that open. Here we have our apple turnover. Uh, I can I can smell that raspberry drink. It actually smells pretty tasty. Um, then let's get our meatballs and pasta opened up. Look at that. Now uh, you got rotini pasta. Oh, that's interesting. They almost look like uh, falafel in there. Uh, flat meatballs. Of course, it's British people. I don't know how they're, they have an idea of meatballs like we do. There we go. So. We have a, uh, I can tell you this the sauce has quite a bit of, uh, I'm guessing it's basil. Um, it smells really good. These meatballs are actually like little, look like little hamburgers. Uh, definitely, they're definitely seasoned. You can see that. Um, smells really good though. So we have our cocoa over here, our nuts, our apple turnover for dessert, and our pasta with, uh, chicken meatballs and then of course we have our raspberry drink over here so let's go ahead and get everybody get in get a little bite of it and see what we think uh the meatballs um like i said they have a lot of uh seasoning to them pretty interesting looking very good yeah that's got a definite uh to me it's a loud um basil taste or uh um, I can't really explain just the, the herb. Um, uh, it's definitely loud Italian seasoning, but, uh, it's good. Very good. The pasta is cooked perfectly. Um, uh, it's not overdone. It's not underdone. I would actually give this one credit for being, having it right on the money. Um, meatball, the texture of the meatball is, uh, pretty firm while still not being, you know, tough. Tastes like actual meat. Yeah, it does. Even for a chicken meatball, I mean, this is uh, definitely, definitely a meal that I would eat again. I like it. Yeah, it's really good. Is it good? Yes. Okay. You should be looking forward to this one. Uh, let's go ahead and try the nuts. At least I'm going to. We've got peanuts, almonds. I don't see walnuts, but it says they're supposed to be walnuts. Uh, a lot of peanuts, so we just give that a try. I don't see walnuts either. Ah, uh, they're unsalted. Just pretty dry uh, nuts. Nothing spectacular. Basic. They're good. I prefer unsalted nuts, so I like them. Yeah, nah, not me. These are, or basic is exactly the right word for them. I'm going to try our uh, British Army uh, mochaccino here. There's some cashews in it. That's what it was supposed to be, not walnuts, it's supposed to be cashews. Okay. You know, oddly enough, the uh, coffee kind of just got lost in there. Um, it's good cocoa. It's not, you know, super. That's a good drink. It is a good uh Um, it tastes good. Yeah, it's actually good for a cocoa. Um, I've had better that were a little bit richer, but um, it was it's still good. I'm going to go ahead and try the uh, raspberry drink. Wow. Um, that is definitely raspberry and actually really, really tasty. It's just a very prominent... Like in your face. It is a very in-your-face drink. Kind of like a, an after film, like, I don't know, I can't explain it on my teeth. It's definitely artificial. It's good, though. <clears throat> and yes, we're sharing glasses. Can you believe that? The only it's thing we're not... delicious. Yeah, that is really, really tasty. Let's go ahead and try our dessert. 
I wish there were apple turnover. Uh, it's actually quite soft. Dear. Thank you. There you go. It's got, uh, looks like little chunks of apple in it. Uh, the dough part of it, the bread part of it's actually really good. It's soft. It's good. It's good. It's got like a toaster strudel filling in it. Yeah, toaster strudel would be uh, exactly right. Bridgeford doesn't really do many things really on target, I don't think. They kind of miss the mark by just a hair each time. But uh, I will say the apple turnovers are actually really good. So this has been the uh, UK uh, operational ration pack. I um, want to thank the uh, ladies for sitting in with me and trying it out. And I hope you all enjoy the review. If you do, comment. If Subscribe. If you don't, yeah, you can still comment, I guess. Most people do. And, uh, you know, if you don't like it, don't subscribe. That's not going to hurt me. Um, want to thank again uh, Drew78 at uh, Rations and More for uh, supplying this to us. Also, check out some of my other buddies uh, Old Smokey, Sticky Fingers745, uh, B Temple. Give him a holler. Uh, he really likes to hear some feedback and, and would love some new subscribers. Um, Iron Morning in England. Just uh, give her, you know, check out on the uh, YouTube and just, you know, look for different reviewers. I appreciate it. Bye. Bye.